Shemot, Exodus 8. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Let et, rather, let my et people go, that they may serve me. And if he, rather, and if you refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite at all your borders with frogs. And the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, which shall go up and come into your house and into your bedchamber and upon your bed and into the house of your servants and upon your people and into your ovens and into your kneading troughs. And the frogs shall come up both on you and upon your people and upon all your servants. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, Say unto El Aharan, Stretch forth at your hand with your rod over the streams, over the rivers and over the ponds, and cause at the frogs to come up upon the land of Mitzrayim. And Erharan stretched out at his hand over the waters of Mitzrayim. And the frogs came up and covered at the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did so with their enchantments and brought up at the frogs upon the land of Mitzrayim. Then Pharaoh called for Moshe and Eharan and said, Entreat El Yahuwah that he may take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I will let at the people go that they may do sacrifice unto Yahuwah. And Moshe said unto Pharaoh, Glory over me. When shall I entreat for you and for your servants and for your people to destroy the frogs from you and your houses that they may remain in the river only? And he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Be it according to your word that you may know that there is none like unto Yahuwah, Eloheinu. And the frogs shall depart from you, and from your houses, and from your servants, and from your people. They shall remain in the river only. And Moshe and Aharon went out from Pharaoh, and Moshe cried unto El Yahuwah, because of the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Moshe. And the frogs died out of the houses, out of the villages, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together upon heaps, and the land stank. But when Pharaoh saw that there was respite, he hardened at his heart, and hearkened not unto them, as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Say unto El Aharan, Stretch out at your rod, and smite at the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And they did so, for Aharan stretched out at his hand with his rod, and smote at the dust of the earth, and it became lice in man and in beast. All the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth at the lice, but they could not. So there were lice upon man and upon beast. Then the magicians said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of Elohim. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he hearkened not unto them, as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh. Lo, 
he comes forth to the water and say unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Else if you will not let my et people go, behold, I will send et swarms of flies upon you, and upon your servants, and upon your people, and into your houses. And the houses of the Mitzrayim shall be full of et swarms of flies, and also the ground whereon they are. And I will sever in that day at the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there. To the end you may know that I am Yahuwah in the midst of the earth. And I will put a division between my people and your people. Tomorrow shall this sign be. And Yahuwah did so. And there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh and into his servants' houses and into all the land of Mitzrayim. The land was corrupted by reason of the swarm of flies. And Pharaoh called for Moshe and for Aharon and said, Go ye, sacrifice to your Elohim in the land. And Moshe said, It is not meet so to do, for we shall sacrifice at the abomination of the Mitzrayim to Yahuwah Eloheinu. Lo, shall we sacrifice the abomination of the Mitzrayim before their eyes, and will they not stone us? We will go three days' journey into the wilderness and sacrifice to Yahuwah Eloheinu, as he shall command us. And Pharaoh said, I will let you go, that ye may sacrifice to Yahuwah Eloheikai in the wilderness. Only ye shall not go very far away. Entreat for me. And Moshe said, Behold, I go out from you, and I will entreat El Yahuwah, that the swarms of flies may depart from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people tomorrow. But let not Pharaoh deal deceitfully any more in not letting at the people go to sacrifice to Yahuwah. And Moshe went out from Pharaoh and entreated Yahuwah. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Moshe. And he removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants, and from his people. There remained not one. And Pharaoh hardened at his heart at this time also. Neither would he let at the people go.